Question mark, question mark, question mark. Time, 10.46 p.m. My life, non-existent. Hey everybody, welcome back to Microsoft Urban Assault Metropolis Dawn Terkistan campaign. <coughs> Tried filming an episode last night, shit did not go well. Uh, it was literally me just falling asleep at the computer for three hours. Uh, trying to do shit, so. <coughs> Today. <coughs> I think we should probably keep a low profile. I was thinking about maybe going back and finishing up Slippery Night. Uh, and so that's what I'm thinking we're going to do. <laughs> Pipe station systems online. now <laughs> okay so we, we left off in a pretty bad situation I'm gonna create some of these well one of them for now or rather So I'm going to use this Hetzel here to go out and find what the fuck's going on. If you <laughs> missed out on the previous episode where we went into this map, uh, we came here, knocked out the Sogro Guards, did a bit of a number on the Gorkovs, but inevitably we retreated with our tail between our legs because we already got what we, were, we came here for and uh, we didn't want to... Uh, risk dying and having to start at the beginning again. <laughs> so, this time, my goal here is to maybe... Fucking speedies, I swear! <laughs> Our goal is going to be to finish off what we started, kill the Gorkovs, because those fucks don't deserve to live. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create some Eisenhans. Congratulations, we got Eisenhans inside of Eisenhans. <laughs> Send them up there. Come on, guys. I'm sure you can all... <laughs> I know you guys like cuddling, and that's fine, but I'm sure you guys can just break it up, you know? No making out in my fucking military force, please. Thank you. These Eisenhans, I'm planning on just uh, pushing the enemy's forces back a bit more. Take down this tech. 
backtrack. We do have one more turret left on this, on this uh, outpost. So I'm gonna destroy that. Was that a tech track? I think that was a tech track that just went by. Huh. If you're wondering why I sent all these guys in right now, uh, it's to pretty much uh, waste my time while I am uh, restocking energy. <laughs> And I know how much like bullshit that sounds, but it's actually the truth. <laughs> but in reality, let, let's get to the point. I, I have some shit I want to talk about. And, and the first is, okay, I'm a role player on Facebook. I role play characters, pretty much create stories for other people, that type of shit. So I'm fine with role playing. Role playing is fine. It's fun to create stories and such, and pretty much get personalities and characters that you yourself might not have ever thought of. Now what I don't like are those people who pretend to reply, and I, I use pretend here as a true term because what they're doing is not role playing. <laughs> what they're doing is just trying to act out sex fantasies with anyone and everyone they can get their fucking hands on. And that is just fucking garbage, and <laughs> they try to say they're not sluts, and it's like, dude, you go out there to try and fuck every person you can. You're a fucking slut. Get over it. <sighs> it's just... <laughs> and the worst part is most of these are underage like kids who are like fucking 12 and don't know like their dick from their hand and it's just like you seriously just you're gonna grow up like this it's like what the fuck happened I was actually learning valuable skills when I was fucking 12 <laughs> I wasn't going out and just typing the word sticks dick in your asshole repeatedly for like five years <laughs> that, that's literally all they do too grabs you sticks my dick in your pussy ooh bitch it's so tight like that's all they fucking do and it's like dude that takes no fucking skill or talent or any imagination at all you're just showing just how much of a fucking twat you are How about you use your magical powers of, quote, role-playing, unquote, to get me a fucking pizza that, so I can actually enjoy something while we're doing this. Because <laughs> clearly, you're not worth enjoying. Or rather, I can't enjoy something so fucking meaningless and demeaning full, uh, so... It's like... <laughs> really, just... If you role-play for sex and use, like, a cropped porn picture as your profile on Facebook, you're nothing but a worthless attention whore who needs to die. Go fuck yourself. Whew. Now that that's out of my system. Uh, we need to get focus on this and winning this. <laughs> Five bucks says there's going to be a lot of dislikes on this video just for that rant. Herp derp derp. I'm, uh, I'm a person who uses porn as their profile picture and ask for men to sleep with them all the time, but yet I'm not a whore. Bitch, you're a fucking whore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why everyone treats me so badly. Bitch, you have no fucking right to do anything about this. You get treated the way you're getting treated because you are that. You are just a slut and an attention whore, and you deserve every fucking bad thing you get. <laughs> okay? You can't say that people are bullying you when you put yourself out there as a slut. You're putting yourself out there as a public bicycle. <laughs> and then you get upset when everyone wants to ride you? <laughs> That's not how it fucking works, skank. <laughs> Learn your fucking place. And the worst part is, most of the time, they just have terrible music choice on top of that. I'm like, fucking Eminem, really? Under 
Yes, yes, host station under attack. Not that it fucking matters. Although, I guess, I guess I could go with, uh, taking a step back and doing this. I guess we should just advance and attack uh, before yeah. anything else. Oh, oh shit. Before you ask, yes, I know it's after me. I love how hard the Gorkals are trying to fight here, and it's like, dude, you're fighting a losing battle, just give up. Like, literally. <laughs> just give up and accept your ass raping. With at least a little bit of pride and dignity. Breaking your shit because I can. Breaking your shit because it's who I am. I'm gonna break your shit. <coughs> Pour it all the Facebook sluts because that's what they are. <coughs> Roleplay used to be something artistic, something that <coughs> created something. Something that took skill to do. Something that could bring happiness into people's lives. It wasn't something that caused drama and was for one person's personal gain because they want to get their jollies off and don't want to waste time having to go to a website to look at porn. They just want to sit there and create their own little shit that sucks ass for one. It's not even good most of the time. Most of the time it's just dick, dick, and ass pump. Oh, yeah, bitch, so tight. And it's just like, dude, that's this. <laughs> Go back to school, you don't even know fucking English. <laughs> uh, and then they have like multiple accounts to be like, uh -huh, I'm here too, motherfucker. And it's just like, Go away. <laughs> just go die. Seriously, just go fucking die. And there are some names I want to put out there, but at the same time, I don't want to waste my time putting names out there. Uh, especially names of sluts, because <laughs> I'm better than them. <laughs> Believe it or not, I actually have, actually have a uh, sense of uh, sense of uh, justice and well-being, or whatever. I like how they go around, try to sleep with everyone they can, and then they get mad at anyone who calls them out on it. 
it's like you literally put that you wanna you wanna have anyone sleep with you. <laughs> Another thing I hate. People who go around saying, Oh, I want a relationship, but it needs to be an open one. That you're literally saying, I want a relationship partner, but I want to have the ability to have sex with anyone I want. Because I'm a slut. <laughs> and I can't be loyal. That's what you're fucking saying. And it's <laughs> We've come to the point in our society where shit like that has become normal. <sighs> and another thing I hate. Now, nowadays when like packaging like foods and stuff, you know, like Reese's Pieces and shit like that. And like even potato chips. Like, 80% of the shit's just fucking air. And I can really... I can really... Say something about this, because my friend Spade once opened up a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup package. That had nothing in it but air. <laughs> Completely sealed, freshly bought Reese's Peanut Butter Cup package. Air. <laughs> the food market has really declined. <laughs> So, for, for a little spiel, uh, I'm going to try and see about... <sighs> Getting my troops up here, first of all. So, uh, from the Gorkov's perspective right now, <laughs> I don't have much left. We're both running on damaged power stations. <laughs> and pretty much just waiting for the other one to die. I, however, can rebuild my power stations stronger than ever. Now I got the full power back that I once had a long time ago. And I got an army that's heading to the enemy base. So, I guess you can call this a birdie. Because I, I believe that's one under par. I don't know, fuck off. the beam gates open again. I'm happy the beam gates open again. And now we're going to push forward and...
So, the, the big problem I'm having with this is everything is degraded to such a point that even games today degraded to such a point that. The 90s really were the, like, 90s and early 2000s were really the golden ages of gaming. That's when, like, the most fun games came out. And I mean that in the realest fucking way possible, because ever since then, all it is is just fucking boring-ass repeats of games that were cool the first time, boring the second, and irritating the rest, and it's... Halo and Call of Duty are great examples of this. Nothing has fucking changed in the formula. They're still just the same old boring ass shit they always were. And it's... There's nothing. There's nothing to it. It's just... <sighs> no originality, no creativity, nothing. Just nothing. for another one with Hetzels, because Hetzels are fun. Hetzels are almost as fun as Hetzers. Microsoft still, uh, from what I've heard, Microsoft still owns the rights to this fucking game. But, they've never done anything with it. And that's what, that's, that's really where they're missing a lot of money. By taking a game like Urban Assault that's such a simple concept and bringing it updated, maybe like co-op multiplayer, more factions, more vehicles, but keep the same concept at a base level, they could have had a multi-million selling platinum seller, because this, this is what true gaming is. You have to use your skills and your brain to play something that actually requires skills and hand-eye coordination <laughs> and thinking <laughs> not just running around some battlefield aimlessly with a fucking gun or even worse just a knife to one hit kill somebody that's not a fucking game that's a bunch of little fucking kids trying to act cool and we need good games <laughs> That, that's what I'm getting at, like, everything these days is fucking degrading, being watered down, Vectoring for both. and I'm not just talking about, like, like, things in general, I mean, even, like, when you look at Super Mystery Dungeon, compared to the old Mystery Dungeon games, it feels a bit watered down. Hound dog on enemy station. I mean... Sure, it still has an inviting story and everything, but it's nowhere near as touching and inviting as the first couple of games. Where you actually felt like your choices mattered. And you felt like you were actually part of the story. You just don't. You, I just didn't get that really that much with Super Mystery Dungeon. Maybe it's just me. But everything's become so watered down. Uh, especially with this new generation we have. And it's just... When will we have something that actually has meaning anymore? That's, that's the point I'm trying to get at. Pursuing vector as planned. Doesn't seem like we'll be getting anything of that sort anytime soon, sadly. Air unit requesting but we finished. <sighs> we finished 
Slippery Night, I believe that's what this mission was called. We finished it, came back here, got it all mopped up. I'm going to pretty much turn this into a vehicle crafting facility. And by doing that, I'm going to be able to just come here between missions. And if I want to switch up my units, I'm going to be bringing. Now, why, would I, why should I do this? Well, it's very simple. It's a very strategic thing to do. But then again, you wouldn't understand strategy if you played most games of today. <laughs> That's something I actually like about uh, the game Warframe, is it's fast action, looks beautiful, but there's still strategy to it. Because behind the scenes, you're working out stats to increase uh, your damage against either certain element types or upgrading your weapons so your weapon's your main focus like so it actually requires some skill and strategy to it and a lot of hand-eye coordination <laughs> call of duty you just run and just shoot at whatever or you just lay in a fucking field with a sniper rifle waiting for someone to come by because they're fucking retarded five-year-olds who think they know everything when they don't know shit and it's just garbage that this is where games have gone and we need we need good classic gaming again it's just it's gone too far Actually, I'm not going to bring any Eisenhowers. I'm going to just, uh... we wait for them to figure out how to fucking move around the power station. Microsoft needs to do something with the rights to this game. Welcome back. Because this is... It's wasted potential in Microsoft's pocket. Now, I'm not sure about you, if you were a game company uh, owner or anything, but I certainly wouldn't want to put what could be a couple thousand dollars profit easily. In a in a in a wastebasket like. <laughs> Never mind. I, rant over. Episode is done. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed, everyone. I'll see you next time when I actually try to do something, and not just rant the entire time. I just had a lot on my mind this episode.
I liked how they were trying to capture downwards over here, near the end. <laughs> like, what, were they planning on heading that way? That wouldn't make sense, because they themselves moved their host station over here. <laughs> so... I don't know. I don't know what they were trying to do, what they were thinking. <laughs> well. Hope you guys enjoyed. Microsoft Urban Assault. I'll see you guys next time. I'm planning on going Dark Shadows over Green Valley. Oh my lord. And if we don't do that, then we're going to be doing Bomb Thread. This mission's going to probably be saved till last. <laughs> so, see you guys then. That's what's going to happen. And remember that you have some brains in society. Do the right thing. Love you all. Bye.